Mm. Yeah, the YOLO attitude. Uh. <laughs> yes, YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So speaking about, you know, singing and at the same time, your parents also want you to um, do something else, right? So how do you juggle between your daily life and also your passion? I was because currently I'm studying in uni. So um, of course, my studies will come first. But then um, when I'm doing my school and everything, I would occasionally take breaks. That's the time where I would like really practice my songs or really just sing just to um, keep my mind off things. Apart from that, like um, once I'm done with my schoolwork, I'll just um, commit myself to singing. I do play games also, so I'm just like juggling everything. Okay, like, at least you're, you're getting enough sleep and like, you know, your social life still okay, right? Mm, it's still alright. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so that's one uh, phrase. Passion never dies. How far do you agree with that statement? I would say for passion or like something that you like to do, occasionally you might lose interest in it and you might get like sick and tired of it. So um, it's good to take breaks. Like for example, last year, I kind of got really, really sick of singing because I had like a lot of gigs and I was just very, very stressed out and I was kind of doubting myself a lot. So... I took like two months of like a uh, no gig break. So I really just stopped doing gigs and everything and just rested for two months. Lah. And then afterwards, like I realized that um, my mind actually cleared up and I would say I rejuvenated a bit eh, and I did, I, I suddenly just like developed the interest in singing again. So I would say passion doesn't really die out. It's more of you might get tired of it if you do too much of it. That's true because I feel like it's really important for people to understand that, you know, even though, uh, you know, you're really passionate about things, it's okay if you burn out because we're all humans, we're not robots, you know. Sometimes we just right. need to take a little bit of break and then, you know, rejuvenate and then feel a lot better after. And what's the better timing now than phase one when yes, you're at home correct. and just to have time for ourselves? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm like actually taking this period of time to take a break or so and I'm actually working on other things like uh, writing on my or writing original songs and I'm actually learning how to play the piano as well. Instead of just performing like every weekend, I'm actually taking this time to really self-reflect and learn more skills, new skills. Mm. Okay. So what instruments can you actually play before the piano? Mm, I know how to play a bit of the guitar. Same. <laughs> but and it hurts my fingers. And I knew how to play a bit of the ukulele as well. So it's safe to say that your number one instrument is the vocal instrument. Lah. It's the gift yes, from God. Definitely. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I mean, you are pretty good. Actually, I, I watch your Instagram videos and it's you have a very powerful voice. It's yeah. really, like You don't even need a microphone, honestly. It's, it's great. Like, it's uh, amazing. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that means a lot. So what is your advice to the youths out there who feel that, you know, they should give up their passion because of either discouraging comments or like they can't face criticism, you know, because of career-wise also, like singing, music, anything arts-related, it's not really, well, the norm in society. So what is your advice out there to people yeah. who are facing this fear? I would say just never give up on your passion and your dreams because, um... When you grow up and you start working, right? You, if you do something that you don't like, you really hate doing it, and it will, it wouldn't be, like, you wouldn't enjoy doing it. So I feel you should just go for it and just pursue what you want to do. Uh, most importantly, I would just say, is to strive for self improvement and be always be open towards learning new things. Because as human beings, we are not perfect, right? So. I feel that um, we should be more open towards learning new things and also be always be humble. And for those mm. of you guys who think that it might not be a good like job to do, I would feel uh, that you should maybe have a backup plan. Because um, I have friends that are in LaSalle, they are studying music, but they are lecturers, mm. right? They actually told them to look for like a legit job instead of music. Oh, first, oh. after they graduate. 
and sidelines, right? They sh- they could do music until they think that they are ready, and then they should just pursue it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's good to have like a backup plan ready if you think that if you're not ready, lah. Yeah, because I yeah. feel like you know if if you're being too um you know ambitious, it still won't be good because you know you have to remember Perfect. that we're we're still in this society where yes. you know the arts is still not um it's it's not a conventional way you know of having a it's job. It's still very hard, lah. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, that's why so you should always advice? hashtag support local. Yep, so my advice to everybody is to never give up on your dreams, on your dreams and to always um, be open towards learning new things. So this song uh, is actually one of my favourite songs right now and it's a song by Lewis Capaldi and this is Someone You Love. I'm going under and it's time I finish no one is This hour, nothing really got away, you're driving me crazy. Need somebody to hear, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to hold. It's easy to say, it's never the same. I guess I kind of like the way you numb know, all the pain. Not a day you believe in the nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. I let my guard down, and then you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being so in your love. Okay, so that's it for today's podcast. Thank you so much, Sohim, for joining us on this amazing yeah. day. And also to our audience, thank you so much for tuning in with us where we give you real GCC Talks. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Real GCC Talks and don't forget to hit the subscribe button which is uh, somewhere. So, stay juicy! <laughs>